This is Six Shooter, and you're listening to Literati Records Podcast. Welcome to episode 173 of the Literati Records Podcast. I'm Marcus Graybeard, host of the show, and I want to thank you for tuning in, turning on, and supporting independent music. We have a great guest for you today. Denver Band Six Shooter will be coming on to fill us in on their latest release, upcoming tour, and some notable gigs that they got happening this month. But first, I'd like to thank Todd over at Sasquatch Design for helping sponsor our show in addition to designing some updated logos and graphics for us. He does excellent work and will be a good place to start next time you need any web, logo, or branding work done. Whatever you need, Todd and Sasquatch Design can hook you up. I want to give you another reminder about our Literati Records release party for the new and the Black Feathers single, The One. 
The party gets going on Saturday, May 10th at Three Kings Tavern on South Broadway. We are proud to present an amazing night of music with sets from the Dead End Drivers, The Outfit, our guest today, Six Shooter, and of course, and the Black Feathers. The guys tell me there will be a few surprises planned, and there will be free download cards available at the show. Also remember, you can connect with us on Facebook and Twitter. This is where we communicate most directly with the independent music community. Our guests today, Six Shooter, play a mix of heavy blues rock infused with some punk and country roots. Their authentic rock and roll stage swagger has earned them slots opening for the Dusty 45s, Goddamn Gallows, the Super Suckers, and influential 60s group the Standells. Their recent single, Shootout, is also slated to appear in the web series American Wasteland due to start production in August. You can find a complete track listing for all the music on today's episode in the show notes on our website at www.literatirecords.com. Well, that's it for me. Enjoy the rest of today's show. Graybeard, signing off. All right, well, we're down here at Three Kings Tavern with the members of Six Shooter. Uh, we'll start on my left here and get names and instruments. Uh, my name is Duke Schoonover, and I play the drums. Uh, my name is Micah Morris, and I sing and play guitar. I'm Mike Rose. I play guitar, slide guitar, and backup vocals. My name is Yeku Nunez. I play bass, and I do backup vocals. Well, could you give us a short history of how you guys kind of got together, started playing as Six Shooter? Yeah. Um, me and Duke actually uh, uh, met years ago, and we'd always talked about playing music, and then uh, just kind of fiddled with the idea for a long time. For a while. Finally, we got it together and uh, went over to his house and got him to play some drums and play some guitar. We started writing music. Did that for what eight months, and then Mike Rose and Diego Nunez started playing. After that, and then we started playing shows. Right here at Three Kings was our first show yep. about yeah, a year nice. ago. Um, nice. May May sixteenth. No. Yeah, so almost you know May sixteenth. Yep, anniversary was next month. Mm. Well, you guys have a new single out, Shoot Out, uh, excellent song. Uh, we've enjoyed playing it on our our uh, podcast. Is there a story behind the release of that song? There is. Yeah, um, we uh, came in contact with a director, and um, his name is Jason Kaz, and uh, he's working on this miniseries, and actually uh, um, he came across our music and commissioned us to write a soundtrack, or mainly just a song, emotional song for his uh, for his series and we figured uh, it's kind of a post-apocalyptic thing so there's uh, he wanted to have a scene like a shootout scene so we figured we'd write a song to reflect whatever we figured would fit into that scene so. is that a TV series a web series it's a web series yeah. web series cool what's the name of that oh it's American Wasteland, American Wasteland. set to shoot in August yeah That's it's gonna nice. be cool it's, I think it's gonna be really cool so it looks, from what, I've, to be from what I've seen, it looks badass. Yeah. Uh, do you guys have any tour plans, or what's next for us? We are going shooter? on tour. Um, we Our tour kickoff is May 31st right here at Three Kings, and then we're going to Salt Lake City, Boise, Idaho, Seattle, Oakland, San Jose, and Las Vegas, and then we're going to Lake Powell to party. <laughs> just to hang out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thing. We gotta like that. Band therapy time. Yes. Pretty much. Band <laughs> therapy time. Oh, and then, uh, probably, uh, at, probably when we get back from tour, we'll focus on just getting everything we have so far written, recorded. It'll be a slow right release, now. though. We'll probably be doing like one or two songs a month until we finally get like an actual album compiled. Yeah. That way we can actually focus on the individual songs and we can get like a product that we're really happy with. We definitely yeah. learned doing that with the shootout single, working with Bart. Just one one song in that one day, we were able to just nail everything. We weren't worried. We weren't stressed out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we should give a shout out to Bart at Moto Land. Moto Land. Moto Land. Moto Land. Yeah, Bart, Bart McCurry. Yeah, he's great. He's, uh, he also plays in the Throttle Pitch Bomb. Invasion, Throttle Bomb, uh, Frontside 5, and uh, a lot of, A lot of great... Uh, Albums come out of that studio too. Oh yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. big Not time. Paper scissors for these last two drink tickets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll do that after. We'll, do that after we'll get in the fight after the interview. <laughs>
Well, do you guys have any upcoming shows that you want to plug? I know we have you guys on the bill for our Literati release show, where we'll be uh, releasing the first single from In the Black Feathers. It's a pleasure to have you guys on the bill for that. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely, man. Um, you want to talk about the Standells? Oh, the Standells, yeah, we're stoked about that. Herman's Hideaway. May 18th. May 18th. Some people don't actually remember them. Dirty Water. Yeah. Do they don't the, remember the name, but they, they know, know the song. Know the dirty song Water. Song. Yeah. So Standells, piece, that's like a piece of American rock history. history. Yeah, we're honored to be on that. And they, that's huge for us. AM Gold. Yeah, they were. They like open for the Rolling Stones and shit. So that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so and we're honored. Like now in that, you know. Hereditary chain. Thing, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. We opened and for a band that opened for the Stone. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. like the Pope or something. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, the, the Dusty Forty Fives, which yeah, they're we've kind great of become band. not in this, well. We were acquaintances with them. We played with them before about six months ago at the Marquee. But we're playing with them again. They're great guys. Um, what May? May first. The moon, the, 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 the moon room at the moon room. Yeah, let's Sunday. plug these shows right. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to say that there's always great shows at like Three Kings and Lions Lair, and there's always great shit. Yeah. Absolutely, you see the city night of the week. Always and there's, a there's good band. The city is alive with good music. Right yep. uh, yeah. Denver is definitely the place to be right now in rock and roll. Three Kings, High Dive, Lions Lair. Always talented people. You guys there. ever get over to like Larimer Lounge? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, we used to go there all the time. We played there. Uh, yeah, uh, we we, we got a a good friend that works the bar over there, Rosa. She nice. takes care of us all the time. She's cool. Shout out to Rosa. Yeah. Shout out to Rosa. <laughs> what's up, girl? <laughs> hey, baby. Hey. Well, man, what song gets you guys like hyped up and, and ready to rock, Duke? I would say Wolf Teeth by J.D. McPherson. Which is, uh, he's out of Tulsa. He's wonderful. I just saw him Thursday night, and it was one of the best shows I've seen in a long time. Nice. So I would highly recommend him to anybody who's, like, 50s rock and roll, rockabilly, and anything in that vein. It's great. Micah? Um, I, you know, always kind of fall back on ZZ Top, Sharp Dressed Man. Well, you're a Texas boy. Yeah. You are so Texas It's in the blood. <laughs> If you said anything other than ZZ, Pop. I played a band called Six Year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get me going lately is uh, anything from the Doobie Brothers. I like that shit. That shit comes on the radio. Listening to music. Got the China me, Grove. China Grove. Yeah. Running, yeah. That always music. puts me in a good state. Those guys right now. Yeah. Uh, with, with me, I. Uh, there's to be Devil's Make Devil Makes Three. Anything that comes on by them is just I just think it's just stellar. But it's to get specific, Dig in My Grave by William Elliot Whitmore is just phenomenal. He's one of the like the few like blues musicians that are still around this day and age. He's a relatively young dude and he's doing it right. He's just got he's got the voice for it and the timing and he's definitely worth checking out if you love blues, bluegrass, or any of that kind of stuff. He's carrying all the tradition. And he's carrying it well. Nice, nice. Well, thanks a lot for taking time to uh, meet up with us, oh, man. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. Learn a little bit more about what's going on with you guys. And I encourage everybody to get out and catch a six-shooter show, man, because the boys rock. They just, they just yeah. know how to All right. It, thank you, sir. <laughs> All right. We need to know words. Let's get right to it. These guys rock. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Thanks, man. Thank you. Have a great show tonight. Bye. All right. Hey, thank yeah, you, man. Thanks, man.
away since I was 17 And I could see you standing next to me But I know Our time is coming soon